please subscribe. I much uh, agree with you that after moving uh, some of the scrap dealers or moving the scrap dealers, they have, they have found uh, a place on the Motri Road stretch. Um, we are putting ourselves together. We'll allow them to also celebrate the Christmas and enjoy the CD that is uh, appreciating against the dollar every day. And we pray that next year the CD will not only drop from nine CDs, but probably from nine CDs to about six CDs, God willing. And when after that, maybe in the first quarter, we'll engage with the leadership of the scrap dealers. Indeed, during the Agbobushi exercise, they, they secured a parcel of land somewhere in the eastern region. Uh, we are yet to sit with the leadership to see how far they have gone with uh, the documentation. But certainly we'll engage them uh, and then assist them in uh, getting a place, just like we've done for the onion sellers at Ajen Kutuku. Once that has been done, we will encourage them to voluntarily move to their new sites. So definitely within the first quarter of next year, inshallah, we'll tackle that. Now, CRT and their core functions, yes, very well, I agree with you. Originally, they were supposed to do the help, assist the mehos and dehos in the uh, enforcement of uh, the bylaws, i.e. Saman Saman. But we realized that we needed them to do some temporary operations within the CBD. So all of them were recalled to the center, the pool. So you realize that they were doing some work on, at Kanishi, Farisco, and all that. But we think that uh, we have been able to send a signal. The visibility is clear. So we are redrawing them back to their respective assemblies to begin uh, the, the core functions of why they were recruited and trained. So 2023, by the grace of God, you see them in the assemblies performing or assisting the mehos to, as it were, enforce the bylaws. Thank you, sir. Eighty acres of land, and we call the I don't have the locals. Now, to put it on record, if he said, "Yani mo nsa mtrofo ni na any security and intelligence agencies," me and Kasi e tuomo, we relocated them to an enabling environment to do business. Yeah, Kasi ye two wall, a wall is a statement. Num, edi afa agbogloshi asasini na. Now, who can utiye my statement and make her say your yeah, yeah, application through Minister of Local Government to the Minister of Finance? Now, say me koton asasi finance for the vehicle who wall amami. See, you know, you come here, Minister of Finance, who try wall mawa na eni kote nuwa koton. And yena, who ne mo ding. But on a more serious note, eh. Uh, a buying a formal committee. A share a Google share Sassiano, and I'm a dear can't say agency be a work land Sassia, a friend of Luspa, land use and special planning. One more a share because a Sassiano on say a toxic waste. A baho a check into the idea can one more years as a a soil nibi no mo hwe se anso se de hotie no da chi bia no e betumi e de esi dan po ana se de ani e betumi aye wo so we nya bibia ye piti ekoye e san se u di mi ka koye a the exercise that we did with your good selves will be in futility na se se no ye nyanti e se we want the Hono Bay to say recreational center, sporting activities, health center, no money, shops, 
and uh, the Akeka home, ain't you know, a bind and a beggar. May Henry reported the medical car, meaning Sana or her, make a bobble she, and I make a fra fra ha, and I make a ramsa. Yeah, yet here, you know, you knew one plot to So, who evidence be sa fabra? Naturally, I may say a similar as I ho. Mini as I see a ho, and I mean to be so ho. Is answer me, Nisa to me, you know. A ya buy a sassy. Intimidia me, and then I'm a cotto a bobble she. As I come out to be an kaja, Gabuba Musen profound is it I owe. Because your mood de be ya buy niama. The only a ya ye ye ma a buying as ye 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 no doctor Nsiansari. On no lead the agenda one one one. Into ye ye be ya fourteen or fifteen acres, maomo. No more fancy hospital. Ah, a be boa. And Kremine Temu, a Gamashi, Kaneshi, na a support to Kolebu. That is the only thing that I know we have done. But I want to put on record that myself and all the people around me, we don't own five by five plot of land at Agogloshin, talk less of selling. We have not sold. And by the grace of God, we will not sell because we don't have the locals to sell. Next question. You have been one of our major partners. Uh, of course, not in crime. <laughs> so the answer to your question is this. I want to summarize it. But you see, the RCC did not wake up out of the blue to say that we are going to, for that matter, relocate or assist in relocating the businesses around Abosokai, spare part dealers to Afienya. What happened was that in the course of our engagement with stakeholders, the leaders of Abosokai spare part dealers themselves approached us and they said during the campaign period, when Mr. President visited them at Abosokai, one of the things they discussed and the request they put before His Excellency the President was that if Mr. President wins, then, by the grace of God, they would humbly pray that Mr. President uses his good offices to assist them to relocate because they have outlived the space. So they brought it up, and we said, well, and I remember saying that, I'm so open here. So we went ahead and engaged lands and Minister of Lands and Natural Resources. So, point of correction, we are not purchasing land for them. Because RCC, I don't have money to go and purchase land for them. But we are making an application through a state agency, a Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources, to make available some government lands so that through effective engagements, broader and wider consultation, which may travel between one year to probably six years or more. That is why I talked about short, medium, and long term. We'll have that kind of arrangement with them, and then eventually they will leave. But I want to state here and now that there are no intentions whatsoever to go and remove them from Abosoka. It cannot be done. Because you see, like Ajim Kutuku, the stores had already been built for probably over 15 years. So for anybody at Aboso kind to move, they will have to move into shops, an area that has properly been planned. Because the essence of relocating them is to create an enabling environment for them to do business. So you cannot move them from here and build some, you know what I mean, some kiosks for them. And with a, a land spanning over a thousand acres, planning and developing it may take not less than three years to do so. So the Abosso kind relocation is not, you know what I mean, it's going to go through processes. Like I said, it may take five years, it may take six years, but at least there is a plan that when we follow, by the grace of God, we'll get to our final destination. So please, we are not removing Abosso kind people. We, will, we are working, and again, we have engaged their leaders. And contrary to some people who put themselves together to spew propaganda, currently as we speak, 
I have a list in my office with well over 1,500 members of Abosu Kai's spare part dealers who have signed and ready to be moved. Are, are, are you with me? We are told that uh, those who have got permanent shops in Abosu Kai, they are more than 5,000. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then they have the, what do you call it, Agetam or something. There's a name, Affairs. <laughs> so when you put all together, you are looking at close to about fifteen to 20,000 people who do business there. Certainly you cannot move 20,000 people like this. No. You have to provide proper infrastructure for them. Are you with me, madam? Very well. In the land that was acquired by government for the people of uh, Kukumpe, perhaps. Um, the processes will be very different from what we, by the grace of God, intend to do. Land was acquired for them and they were asked to go and develop it. In this case, uh, there should be proper planning a scheme, and possibly the place built for them to move in. So they will not have access to go and sell government lands. As for that one, it will not work. <laughs> that I can assure you. So it's completely different from the, uh, the, the, the Konkumpe. Now my question. Over the last 18 months or so, and I must say, without any reservations at all, my team and I have enjoyed effective collaboration and good working relationship between us and the media. But in the last couple of weeks, it so happened that whether out of excitement, Chronicle failed to observe the ethics of journalism by balancing your reportage where you put on your front page that somebody has slapped a regional minister. You didn't call me. You haven't asked me my side of the story. And the case is in court, and you chose to report on the case. Ooh. As if that is not enough. You put a crowd commando who born dog, a crowd commando slapped. <laughs> the who born dog was in red ink. A bonsam fireman. Then you put then you put a car commando. Then in small corner, you put 61 year old pensioner. You see? But it's okay. You are the same people who introduced a car commando. So uh, the dance will say fire, Lord Juagbe. See what I mean? But you see, because you are my friends, so I kept quiet. But I've noticed that you did a second, uh, uh, if you like, report. Okay? And you also granted audience to the same person who had put together media to do a press conference. But again, I have not responded. And I don't intend to respond because the matter is in court. So I will not speak to it. But I want to respectfully appeal to us. You have done a good job so far by educating the people, providing information, sensitizing them. So let us continue in that spirit so that we don't end up selling our papers because once it's about Henry Corte, you put something on front page over home paper. What about intro? So please, this is my Christmas message to Chronicle. <laughs> Sir, tell your editor that me see you made a cuckoo. Oh, hey, report. I can't check him down any report. But you know what you did, you know. Huh? So the court told you that I was left. Yeah, no, eh, but did you call me? <laughs> Madam, I, I'm saying that because it's in court, I don't want to delve into it. So I'll leave it like that. Because you have been a great partner. And I get the impression that you were the one who reported. <laughs> <laughs> so on a the, on the lighter note, were you trying to sell your paper or you wanted to report? The Accra Commando sold the paper for you. <laughs> Front page, sorry. Hey, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's
It's good. Don't worry. Uh, tell your editor, say Merry Christmas. <laughs>